So I'm here with Prince Smith Jr., a recent graduate from UNH and a former cornerback on the UNH football team. Now, Prince, you signed as a free agent with the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles on April 25th. Congratulations for that. Can you tell us the details about that day and how you signed? Okay, so the draft is going on in about, I think, the middle of the seventh round. So I've been in contact with the Eagles through the whole process. I met with them, uh, a couple of their recruiting agents. So in the middle of the seventh round, I had got a call from uh, the corners back coach, Coach Manuel, and me and him had been in contact before. So he, he had called me to see how I was doing because he saw things weren't going my way about like being selected in the draft. So he um, he told me, he was like, he's like, um, you know, we still want you. And if you don't get picked, we're going to stay. We, we're going to contact you after the draft. So after the draft had ended, I had got a call from Coach Dino uh, Vaso, a former UNH Wildcat. And then he had called me and told me that, uh, congratulations, you have been signed as a preferred free agent for the Philadelphia Eagles. You actually said in an article that I read on the UNH website that this is a, quote, child. Yeah dream come true for you. Um, so what is the emotion and honor like for you to have this opportunity to play for your hometown? So it's like, is at first when it happened, I was like kind of like still in shock. I'm like, there's no way that I get to play in my hometown in front of my family that are huge Eagles fans. And like the Eagles are like, the Eagle Stadium is 15 minutes away from my house. And this opportunity is, is like one of a kind because I could make, I could make a big presence here like probably my first couple of years in the NFL. And like, I don't have to go anywhere. Like I don't have to start a new life. I don't have to go get new friends. I don't have to go meet new business partners because everything is right here in my hometown that I've been here since I was born 22 years old and i don't have to go anywhere like i'm real familiar so i'm in a real comfortable position to where i could just flourish i don't have to break the ice none of that i'm sure your family was very excited that you didn't have to move too far from home either what was their reaction when they found out that you'd been signed yeah my mom my mom was she was ecstatic when she had found out but the crazy thing about it the funny thing about it my dad is a giant diehard Giants fan. <laughs> like since he was born and raised a Giants fan. So and he always hated the Eagles. So when I had told him, I'm like, Dad, I just got signed by the Eagles. He was like, No way, stop playing. And like he had like this smirk on his face. And I'm like, I'm like, seriously. And he was like, Oh man, is I gotta put on that, I gotta put on that Eagles hat now. This is gonna <laughs> kill me. But everybody, everybody was was very proud. And like very happy for me. Yeah, man, you should be proud of yourself. It's it's obvious that hard work and determination got you here. Um, how do you think playing for the Wildcats when you did? How do you think that helped you achieve this? It this playing for the Wildcats helped me, definitely helped me achieve it because uh, like I had to just stay focused and keep my head down and work. Even though like we've seen things going on with like COVID nineteen and how that was messing up our opportunities at like a D1 AA because like we don't get to play in front of big crowds so often. We're not in front of every scout every Saturday. So playing for UNH definitely has helped me a lot and it's going to continue to help me because it installed so many values in my life, like hard work, dedication, just paying to the little details that that's going to help me continue to be a better player and better person. Who do you think at UNH uh, really inspired you and helped you the most? Coach Blue has, he, since I came there as a freshman, me and him had had so many different conversations about just me and proving. So when I first came there, I had, I had instant success as a freshman. And that got a kind of got to my head a little bit because I'm like, I didn't have to wait like every other, every other, every other person. Like I came there, I got on the field and I had success and I didn't get to practice and learn the little things like consistency and focus on the field. So throughout those years, me and him had very 
very serious conversations about me just being consistent on the field. And I feel as though my, my last year, I had, to, I had took everything he had taught me and I just put it all into one, like my athleticism, my skill set, and the little things he had taught me, like consistent and his hard work, and I put it all together. Awesome. So you were actually also getting ready for your pro day in March, and then yes. COVID kind of canceled all sports at the time. Um, yes. So you weren't really able to showcase your talents right then and there. So what have yeah. you been doing during this time to make sure you're ready to play in front of these coaches? So for the past month, I think, month and a half, we had been doing like virtual workouts and virtual meetings on, um, on this app called Teams where I get on there with the uh, strength coach and he gives me a workout to do. And I'm not going to lie, the first week, those workouts was hard. The running is more running than I ever did in my life. But as the weeks went on, I got more and more comfortable with the workouts and I just started flourishing and my numbers were very high. So I feel like I'm, I'm definitely, I'm very prepared for when camp starts. Like I'm going to hit the ground running and I'm going to do my best. Do you feel like it was hard to stay motivated um, with it being virtual or do you think that that had no factor in what you're working towards? Um, a little bit because you know, when, whenever you're there in presence of like any situation it always feels better. Like if I was down at the facilities working out in their gyms, it would have been better instead of just me working out on my own. And so I could say it, it, it definitely, it didn't make it harder to like do the work, but the process wasn't as more as learning and fun as it, as it could have been if I was down with everybody else in the facilities. Right. And I'm not sure if you know exactly when you'll be able to, but do you know when you're going to be able to work with these people in person? So, so Coach Doug Peterson, um, he has just been telling everybody around like July 21st, July 22nd, like just keep those dates in mind because those could be the time, could be the days where we have to report, but you never know what's going to happen because it's like just so much in the air right now. Well, it sounds like you'll be ready for it anyway. Um, yeah, for sure. The last question I want to ask you is, I think you're probably a huge inspiration for kids right now. A lot of people are looking up to you, knowing that you dreamt of this in your hometown and now you're making it happen. What's a message that you'd want to give to kids who are aspiring to do the same thing? I have one message that I always had kept in my head. No matter what your situation is, just continue to push hard. I know some people aren't as blessed is to get opportunities to play in big schools like Alabama, the LSU, the Clemsons. But like, no matter what you do, they're going to find you if you have the talent. So day in and day out, just put in that work and to continue to push and your shot going to come. Great. Well, you're definitely accomplishing big things and the whole UNH community is very proud of you. We're excited to see where you go from here. So absolutely keep in touch with us and we'll be watching. So congratulations. Okay. We're all proud of you. Thank you. All right. And thank you for joining me today. I enjoyed talking to you. And no problem. Up. Anytime. Right. Well, take care. You too.